everyone, it's me, Alex, and today's favourite bird. A couple of weeks ago, I went on holidays with my best friend Tiasha and we went to Hawaii. Now, I took this as an opportunity to make some haul videos from stores that I can't usually shop at. Maybe I could shop at them online, but it would probably cost a lot of money to get the stuff shipped. So the first place that I'm gonna be showing you is Hot Topic. Uh, oh, hello, there you are. I also shopped at Forever 21, Brandy Melville, Walmart. I have a lot of viewers that are in America. So this one is, you know, for you guys, in terms of you guys can get it easily. And then for my international viewers, You can probably get it too if you order it online, but just be aware you'll probably have to pay a fair bit in shipping. So there's a bunch of t-shirts here because when I went into the store, they had a sale on and it was buy two, get one free. So I just kind of went a little bit crazy. I got a couple of accessories, Pokemon themed things, you know, all the good stuff. We'd been shopping all day. I was really tired. It was quite late and the store was about to shut when I walked in. I went running in and I was like, I'll just give myself five minutes. And I just ran around the store in a frenzy and I was, Overwhelmed, honestly, overwhelmed. The amount of stuff was incredible and I loved everything that I looked at. I went a little bit crazy. I'm done. Okay, so let's jump into it. First up is a good old Pokemon graphic tee. It was pink, it had my name written all over it. It's got Mew and Pikachu on there having a good time. Actually, it looks like Pikachu's sleeping which is a good time to me. Now this one was originally 23 US dollars, which is probably about 30 Australian dollars. I consider $30 for a t-shirt to be a little bit excessive, but also I do have to keep in mind this is a licensed store. You know, this product is a licensed Pokemon product. So that always hikes up the price a little bit. I got this in a medium because I wanted it to be like an oversized t-shirt. This shade of pink is the perfect shade of pink. I'm very, very happy. Like I said, there was a buy two, get one free promotion, so that's why I went nuts on the t-shirts. It is quite long, comes down to here on me. I want to be able to wear this tucked into jeans, but unfortunately, Pikachu ends up getting covered up. It's just Mew sticking out the top there. This next one is a licensed Disney product. This is a Little Mermaid t-shirt. There's this really, really interesting textured design on the back. It's almost 3D, the way that it sticks out like that. It's actually Ariel, Ariel, Ariel. There she is. At the front, it's meant to be kind of like a, a rugby t-shirt, where it's got Ariel. Uh. Sorry, it's a little bit crinkled, it's just come out of my suitcase. So this is it on, it does have a, a seam down the center here, then it ties up in this little knot there. It, it sits in a really unusual way, so I feel like I will end up tucking this one in as well. Now this one was $35, like I said, which I definitely think that's a lot, but it is a really, really beautiful shirt. I think the back detail really makes it. It's really interesting and intricate, and I really like that it's kind of a 3D design. It wouldn't be a trip to Hot Topic without picking up some Pusheen. And I got this t-shirt for Daniel. Daniel and I love Pusheen. Pusheen is like our spirit animal. Now I got this in a large. This was, are, are you okay? You want a scratch, huh? Oh, we have a scratch. Oh. Oh, is that okay? No, we, we're gonna keep scratching, okay. I'll wait. I'll continue waiting. Now this one was $21. As an avid lover of pushing, I can definitely justify that price. So on me as a large, this one would be quite big. I could wear this as a dress, but this one is definitely for Dan. Next up is this t-shirt, which I absolutely adore. This one says, not today, Satan, which is basically like my life motto. <laughs> Every time Sephora has a sale, not today, Satan. <laughs> this one was $23. That's a little bit much considering this is the thinnest t-shirt so far, but this was part of this whole buy two, get one free. So I'll just tell myself that this is the one that I got for free and that I didn't actually have to pay for this. Can, can you hear that? That would be Holly over at the door. <laughs> Very happy with my Hail Satan, wait, hang on. Not today, Satan shirt. And I'm sure Holly likes it because it's white. 
Next up, we have a button-up shirt. Now, this wasn't part of the buy two, get one free because apparently things with buttons aren't considered shirts. I really, really love things that have suns and moons and stars on them. Now, this is black and I don't wear a hell of a lot of black, but I am sort of exploring, you know, trying to dress black up with pastel colors. So I feel like if I accessorize this well, I could definitely make it fit my style. Now this one was $27 and I do think that it's worth it because I love this style. I got this in a small to medium and it's got a fair bit of room up here but the way that it sits is quite flattering. I really love how it ties up like that. I think it looks really really nice with these jeans. The fabric is super comfortable. I can imagine wearing this with some shorts and a little belt or with a skirt. You know this is really really versatile. Are you right? What are you doing? No, that's not a nest, you know. You could even put like a turtleneck or something underneath this if you're worried about it being a little bit too cold. I actually ended up going back for this next one because as I was walking out the door, I bought everything. I was ready to leave and the girl that was standing sort of to the left of the doorway was folding some t-shirts and she's standing there going like this and she's about to fold it, you know, like this to put it on the shelf. And I'm about to walk out the door, and this is what I see. This is from Card Captor, and I stopped, and I looked at her, and she looked at me, and I was about to say something, and she goes, you want it, don't you? Because <laughs> she'd seen me, like, frantically running around, vlogging and everything, like, going crazy, picking things up, and she's like, obviously this girl's a lunatic. I'm certain it was a trap. Like she, she knew I'd have to leave that store at some point and all the employees were like, hey, she's a lunatic. She's probably gonna get something else if you just hold it in front of her face. So she, she obviously just picked out the closest pastel blue t-shirt and used it to like lure me in like a toreador. <laughs> yes, I walked out the door. I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. And she's like, yes, you are. I was like, I'm not gonna do it. And she's like, you sure? And I said, I'm gonna be strong. And I walked out the door and I got about five steps away from the door of Hot Topic. And then I like sheepishly came walking back in and I was like, give it to me. So here it is. This one was $21. It's a longer t-shirt than some of the others. This is a, I believe this is a, yep, this is a small and see how it's really, really long. So it's intended to, well, I would think it's intended to be a t-shirt dress kind of, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's, it's just meant to be a long t-shirt, I suppose. But again, because I am me, I'm going to be tucking it into my jeans. But I just love this color and I love the graphics too. Look, it's so adorable. Look. Kiro looks so cute, so I couldn't resist. And it's a really, really nice shade of aqua blue as well. So uh, if I can get Holly out of her nest, I'll try this one on for you. Here it is, and it's adorable. I just love t-shirts that have something up on the top left. I actually bought a whole bunch of patches as well from Hot Topic, so that some of the uh, plain t-shirts that I have, I can put a little design in the top left corner. I just think it looks so nice. Now, from the back, when you tuck it in, you can't see the whole design, but this t-shirt is lovely. This is definitely thicker fabric than that Not Today Satan t-shirt. This one's really, really nice quality. And $21 for a licensed t-shirt, pretty good. Next up is a $23 t-shirt. This one is a lot shorter, as you can see, like completely different t-shirt styles. This is actually a size medium. This says hopes and dreams, it's coffin. Uh, hopefully this isn't like a band t-shirt, I don't realize. Honestly, I just picked it because it was pink. That, that's why. Do you like this one, Holly? Oh. So this is the length of it. It's kind of long enough to be able to tuck into jeans, but it's at the length where it's only just sitting there. So like if I raise my arms, it, it untucks. So this one is probably not gonna be great for tucking into things, but it's just a really cute, almost like a baby tee kind of design. My only criticism with it is that the bottom here is not sealed. So if I get this one, so see how at the bottom, this one is hemmed. Like you can see the hem here. Whereas this t-shirt, this isn't hemmed. This is just, well, I don't, I don't even know how to show you guys this, but it kind of like, it rolls. And I'm sure that you've all experienced t-shirts like that where if it doesn't have a hem on the bottom of it, the fabric just starts to curl up and it can get really annoying. So that's my only criticism with this one. <laughs> this next one is so cute. I must say Hot Topic has an awesome range of Disney themed things. This is another one from Ariel. Can someone please tell me if I'm saying that wrong? Is it Ariel? Ariel? Ariel. Ariel. Look, I'm just gonna say Ariel. You can roast me below if I'm wrong. But this one is very, very similar to the style of the black one, where it's like a, a soft button-up shirt, and then it's got a little knot in it here. I just couldn't resist this. The colors of this are so cute. It gives me really, like, retro, kind of like 
80s vibes. It's pink, but then it's also got these little blue kind of squiggles. That's really vintage. I loved it. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I need that. I can imagine making a t-shirt like this just with like Archie and Holly all over it. Okay, so this one was $30. And I think that it's worth every single cent. I think $30 for this is totally, totally worth it. It's such a beautiful, glorious shirt and it's so, so soft. The design is adorable. Look, it's got these really, really long ties here as well. It's really comfortable, a little bit loose, very, very breathable. I love that they've sort of made this Disney design, but it's, it's sophisticated. It doesn't look like it's for a child. Like this is definitely age appropriate. It's a button up shirt with a little mermaid inspired design, but it's not in your face, if that makes sense. Oh, I love it so much. Here's another Little Mermaid themed thing. Now this one also has Ariel written on the back, 89. I don't know if you can see that, it's written in this sort of mint color on the purple. Now this is meant to be like a, like a sports, I don't know, is this, look, I'm not very sporty. Is this meant to be like a rugby shirt? It's got these little holes in it. Can you see, it's got little holes like that in there. I just loved the color and the trim is all mint. The color combination is beautiful. I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna style this one, but I really just picked it because I wanted to show you guys because I'm sure so many of you guys are really gonna love this. So leave comments below and tell me how you'd style this one. I guess tucked into a pair of jeans, this would be fine. But I feel like this is a little bit more playful, like there's a bit more that I could do with this one, but I just don't know how I would style like a, a sports kind of shirt. I don't know, do you just put it with a pair of shorts? Maybe a skirt, maybe like a tennis skirt or something would be nice, but I'm not really sure. But I just, I love the colors so much. Much. And on the back, it's really, really beautiful. $29, totally worth it. Okay, now I'm gonna jump in here before people uh, come for me, before the K-pop stands attack me. I bought this shirt. This is a, a black pink t-shirt, I believe. Now I've never heard a song by Blackpink. I don't listen to K-pop. The closest I get to listening to K-pop is when I visit my Korean nail artist. She runs a nail salon out of her house and she always has her phone plugged in playing K-pop when she's doing my nails. And I'm always like, this is good, like who's this? And I always write down the band names that she gives me. And um, anyway, so maybe I have heard a Blackpink song when I've been there, but I'm not a K-pop stan, literally only because, I, I mean, I don't listen to music, really. I only listen to heavy metal, that's the only music that I listen to. I don't have a very open mind when it comes to music in terms of, I just listen to the same thing and I don't actively seek new music. But if you guys would like to leave recommendations for K-pop, and if, maybe if you want me to make a video where I listen to K-pop properly for the first time or something, please let me know. But anyway, yes, I'm one of those girls that uh, doesn't even know the band that's wearing the band T. I bought this black pink t-shirt because I wanted to show you guys because I know K-pop is like the biggest thing in the world right now and I'm sure there's so many of you out there that will know who this is. Uh, there you go, black pink. Look, what I see here is four very, very beautiful girls <laughs> and I really like their outfits. I like her boots. Those boots are sick. Oh, and I like her stockings too. Is there someone in black pink called Jenny? I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, so I got this because I, I, I thought some of you guys might want to see it. This is a very, very long t-shirt. Again, though, I don't think that I could get away with this as a t-shirt dress. But anyway, I thought I'd show you. Oh, on the back here, it says square up, square up black pink. I don't know what that means. But anyway, I'm here to show it to the K-pop stands. Okay, so there it is full length, so you can see. Very long t-shirt. Let's tuck it in. Well, hey, at least when you tuck it in, uh, it doesn't cut off their faces, that's good. It's not like how Pikachu got completely cut off under the line of the pants. It sits at the right height, you can still see their faces, you just can't see their shoes. This is, I really, really like the fit of this. I like that it's an oversized tee with these sort of bigger sleeves. These look really nice with like tight mesh tops underneath them. So, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna actually have to start listening to Blackpink before I wear this out in public, because I don't wanna be that girl. So leave some recommendations for me below. I will start up a playlist of your recommendations and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because I do, from what I have heard at my nail salon, I do like K-pop, it's nice. Next up, this is a funny one. This was a bralette that I found just kind of like draped over a bunch of t-shirts. It wasn't where it belonged, but I couldn't find any others. There was literally just this, just draped somewhere, not on a hanger, there was nothing else around it that looked like it. So I feel like, I don't know if this was the very last one in the store, but it's a halter neck with daisies on it, 
and this was in a large there were no change rooms so I just kind of like chucked it on while I was in the store and it did fit me fine I'm sure that it can stretch as well it's not the sort of thing I would wear without something underneath because it is mesh you can see straight through it but it's got these little daisies on it and I do feel like because I would be wearing something underneath it it doesn't really matter that it's a little bit too big because whatever's underneath it will probably take up a bit of room so obviously I'm wearing a bralette underneath just wanted to be able to show you guys exactly what it looks like I don't entirely know how I'm gonna style this one maybe with a, a mesh shirt underneath no not a mesh shirt underneath the mesh shirt. That's not gonna work very well. You wouldn't really put this over a t-shirt, would you? I don't know, what are your suggestions? How should I be wearing this? I just couldn't resist because the combination of... The combination of purple and daisies was just so incredibly cute. It actually makes me wanna like go to a craft store and see if I can find some little iron on daisies. I just wanna put them all over everything. Like if I have a plain t-shirt, stick a bunch of daisies on it. Blue jeans, stick a bunch of daisies on them. If you have a boring looking handbag, stick a bunch of daisies on them. <laughs> it's really cute, gotta figure out exactly what I'm gonna wear it with, but it was $15 and it's adorable and it's a beautiful shade of purple. This next one was on sale for $25 and this is from Gravity Falls apparently. It's a shooting star, so I've never watched Gravity Falls, so I don't really know what significance the shooting star has for Gravity Falls. Honestly, when I looked at it, I thought it might have been something to do with little twin stars. <laughs> but uh, for $25, it's... Oh, it's so soft! The inside of this is... Oh, it's so cozy! There we go! Oh, it's so cute! I wish I had pockets! Maybe I'll try and sew some pockets into this. I just... Oh, I feel like pockets would be so nice. Just keep yourself nice and toasty. I love the fit. The fit is so nice. Oh, hang on, sorry. Let me pull my hair out. It's been a little while since I've been screeched at by angry people telling me I shouldn't leave my hair tucked in. So here it is. This is adorable. You know, I always thought of Hot Topic as like a punk goth kind of store, but they also have some super, super cute things in there too. And this, oh, I love this. It's, it's coming into winter right now in Australia. I feel like I'm gonna live in this. Are you guys like me? Do you ever just find something really, really nice and cozy and then just never take it off ever again until a concerned family member says you haven't washed that in a week. <laughs> Seeing as I'm wearing something cute and warm, I may as well show you guys the patches that I picked up. Look at this. These were so cheap. It was something like maybe $2 each or something like that. So I got a couple of double ups because I figured maybe I could put, put them on like the pockets of jeans or something like that. So we've got Awesome Mix Volume 2 from Guardians. I got a little Pusheen Planet. I got two of these love hearts with spiders on them. These are so cool. See, I got these because I can totally picture putting these like on the bum pocket of jeans or something, you know, like, like one, one right there and then one on the other side. I think that would look so cool. I also got two of these. These are holographic unicorns. Look at this, aren't they beautiful? She's got these big anime eyes and she's got like a pink holographic mane. Another awesome mix. Salty. I got Kiro sitting inside a pocket, which would be super cute to put up on the top left corner of a shirt. Hello, everything sucks. You're the worst. Everything sucks. Not today, Satan. You suck. This is literally like <laughs> all of my life mottos when I was in year 10 at school. <laughs> cute but brutal, what my friends call Archie. And finally, Another awesome mix. So I got three because I figured I'll put one of these on something of Daniel's because Dan and I, we love Guardians of the Galaxy. It's one of our favorite, favorite movies. Uh, so I'll put one of these on something of Dan's and then two of them on something of mine. I also got these two lip scrubs. Now this one here is called Cosmic Cupcake and this one is called Cotton Candy Unicorn Magic. Now these are really, really big, big jars. Obviously I'm wearing lipstick and I don't think I'm gonna scrub it off right now, but Oh my God. That's offensive. That smells so nice, it's offensive. $5. Jeffree Star is quaking. Oh, the cupcake one. The cupcake one smells nice. It smells like vanilla, but the unicorn one is just like next level. Next up is a pair of pants that I've been wanting for such a long time. I've been wanting pants like this forever since my emo days. And again, they didn't have a change room. This was the only pair that they had, the only size. So I kind of had to wiggle into them in the middle of the store, in the back corner. But they did fit me back then, so let's hope they still fit me now since I got back. And I'm gonna try them on with this cute button-up shirt. Now the buttons on this, each button is a different color. It's the rainbow and then it's got a little rainbow patch up here, an embroidered patch up there. Okay, there they 
here. These are super skinny. They are such, such skinny pants, but they're so cool. They've got these zips across here. They've got a bunch of patches all over them. Here they are from the back. These would look so cool with a pair of big black boots. Don't know if they necessarily match the shirt because the shirt is like cute with rainbows and the tartan is more of a, a punk kind of thing. But I'm a huge fan. These were really, really expensive though. They were $45. Actually, is that expensive? Yeah, I would consider that kind of expensive. But also they do feel really, really nice. They feel really well made. They're really tight. Quite stretchy though, so I could squeeze into them okay. <laughs> I also picked up some Charmander socks because gotta love Charmander. Fire type Pokemon. That's the only type for me. There they are. They were six dollars. What a steal. Now I ended up with this, I ended up paying for this somehow, and I didn't want this. When I actually went to check out, this was on the counter and I didn't realize that the girl must have thought that it was mine and she scanned it. So I ended up paying $14 for this because if, when I got back, I pulled it out of the bag and I was like, wait a second, I didn't want that. <laughs> so here it is, it's a choker with like a, a heart lock. Ugh, man, I would have died for this a couple of years ago, literally. <laughs> there it is, it's very tight, obviously. Kind of irks me that these chains aren't exactly even, but I used to wear jewelry like this every single day. I literally wore jewelry like this to school. I had a, a very lenient school. You had to wear a school uniform, but you could wear whatever sort of accessories that you wanted. And I wore skulls and like wrist cuffs with spikes on them and all sorts of things. And I would have, oh, I would have lived in this. Uh, let's see if I can find a place for it in my modern day wardrobe. Now, if you're getting frightened away by the, the punk stuff here, I have something to save the day. Some Princess Polly. <laughs> I walked past this and I freaked out and I died. <laughs> and then I came back to life so that I could buy it. It's a little handbag. So it's got a beautiful long strap here. You can wear it as a crossbody. I know it does not match what I'm wearing right now, but it folds open like that. This is made exceptionally well. This was $25 worth every cent. If this had been 50 bucks, I still would have bought it. This is one of the cutest handbags I own. And then also, I don't even know what this is. I spotted this on the shelf. I was like, it's the same as the handbag. <laughs> I'll buy it. It's $10. Lip palette. Oh. 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 Man, if this is meant for children, I don't know any child that would be able to open that. Oh, cute. There it is. Smells like strawberries, how nice. And then it's got this little Polly Pocket here. I guess this is the lip brush, little tiny Polly Pocket lip brush. But I feel like I'll just appreciate this as a compact mirror for my handbag. I mean, I know it's huge, very, very big, just to carry around as a compact mirror, but, but it's absolutely adorable. How could I not? So I will definitely keep this in my handbag. This is a really, really smooth, rubbery, matte textured filling container. It's so cute, Oh. <laughs> And then, last but not least, can you stop interrupting? She's sitting on top of the cabinet up there, sitting on the top of this box. And the last thing that I bought is this two-piece set. This is a Pikachu workout set or loungewear set, whatever you want to call it. So we've got a little Pokeball down the bottom on the shorts, and then on the top, we've got Pikachu. The top was $17 and the pants, were $20. Now that is a little bit much for not a hell of a lot of clothing, but a licensed Pokemon product, I will always justify the price of a licensed Pokemon product. There's not a lot that could convince me to want to work out, but this is definitely kind of making me want to say that it would convince me to work out. Nothing can convince me to work out. But it definitely gets me close. <laughs> I do totally want to be active wearing this. This is a really, really cute set and I do appreciate that Hot Topic has so much fashionable themed clothing. Like think of a franchise, Hot Topic probably has it. I mean, they even had Shane Dawson merch at one point. A shame that they don't have it anymore, but who knows, maybe one day there'll be Archie merch in Hot Topic. If Pusheen can be in Hot Topic, Archie can be in Hot Topic one day. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell because I have a bunch of these other American store hauls coming out soon. Thank you to Holly for being a good guest in the video today. 
I think there's still a fair few of you that have no idea who this bird is or what she's doing here. She'll get her own video one day. Leave a comment below and let me know what your favourite items were. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is pretty pastel, please. So with that, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Mwah!